Happy New Year and welcome to a new in the mail video which in my view is a great way to start the year. Even though I haven't published much in the past month, it was for a good reason I spent some quality time relaxing with my family. Shopping on AliExpress continued though, so here are my latest findings. This is an item for cat owners, it's uh, called Merry Pet as you can see on the box and um, it's probably the future in terms of cat toys maybe. They're gonna get smart and internet connected whether we like it or not. And this comes from the uh, Migia brand. Um, it's, a, it's basically a motorized ball uh, with a Bluetooth connection. You connect this to your uh, Xiaomi app uh, on your phone and then you can control it to spin around the floor to <laughs> drive your cat crazy. And I believe the app can only discover this if you have the region set to China, which is the usual for these uh, products. So I had to do that on my Android test phone, but once that's completed, this thing rolls like crazy on a smooth floor surface and it also makes like cat sounds. And it, it has an internal rechargeable uh, 300 milliamp hour battery. It charges uh, via this USB Type-C port, which is great. Personally, I don't have a cat, but I figured I'd show this because many people might be interested in it. I'll probably give this one away as a gift to a friend who has a cat. But if you're interested in getting one, check out the link in the description below. The sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, is a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times. Now would be a good time to place your PCB orders because there is the Chinese New Year holiday coming up on January 16, which might delay shipping of your order. You could also try them out for many of their other services like 3D printing, CNC machining and manufacturing services in general. Check out their website linked below. Next up I have this uh, very simple Apple AirTag holder and I've recently purchased some uh, AirTags for tracking some of my personal belongings and also to use for a project I'm working on as a consultant for a client. There's many of these uh, holders available on AliExpress. I believe I also showed that one which is disguised as a uh, flange for the water bottle holder on a bicycle. And I need to install an AirTag into that one as well to track my bike. But one thing that's annoying with AirTags, at least annoying for honest people like myself, is the sound they make when they've been tracked by the same device for more than two or three days. That kind of defeats the purpose of the tracker being hidden and I, I get that some people use it to track other people illegally and it is to prevent that kind of behavior, but it's such a pain for honest people and honest usage that just want to silently track their belongings. So what I'm going to do is to disable the speaker in my AirTag. Uh, there is a fairly easy way to do that and I'll show that in, a, in an upcoming video. Until then you'll find the link to this in the description below. Next up I ordered another one of these magnetic straps for multimeters and if you remember I got a similar one a few months ago. Uh, but I figured it might be useful to have two of them because if I do a field trip there's a good chance I'll bring two multimeters with me so hence why I got the second one. This is the cheap variant which is like a one piece thing. Uh, so once you attach this to your multimeter it's gonna be in your way if you don't use it. And I believe the original strap from, a, uh, fl from Fluke for example which is like $50 doesn't do that because it's uh, detachable with a clip but you know $50 buys you a full decent multimeter so not everyone is willing to spend that much on a strap so yeah this $10 one will have to do. Next up I got uh, more of these uh, long uh, head markers which are inexpensive and they can be very useful in a variety of uh, scenarios where you need this very long and thin head to make markings. I've had numerous times where I needed to mark a drill point through the actual object which had a thick base and I couldn't do it with a regular marker. These should be handy and uh, I will be storing them in my various toolboxes now that I have multiple of them. Next product can also be called a refill because I've purchased these numerous times before. I've given them away to friends. I have one hand on every one of my desks. And due to the nature of uh, my job, I have multiple desks at home and in the office. So this is my go-to utility knives. Uh, it, it comes from this company called Fizz, um, probably affiliated with the whole Xiaomi media thing that happens in China. Uh, they're great quality, aluminum body comes in, uh, they come in multiple colors, very sharp, very inexpensive. 
uh, you can get replacement uh, blades uh, easily and inexpensively so yeah I, I like these a lot and uh, just keep one of these with like I said every one of my desks Next up, I have a very inexpensive uh, Arduino Nano clone. And if you remember, first they, they were just cloning the PCBs, but then when the chips became hard to find or too expensive, they figured they can also clone the chips. So uh, yeah, this little board uh, also has a cloned microcontroller. Um, could be that the part number is uh, LFT8F328P, but there are no uh, markings on the chip itself which to me is, is a sign that the manufacturer is facilitating the work of those that sell these with uh, the original markings so you can easily imagine some shop in Shenzhen equipped with a laser engraver marking these as Atmega 328P and then selling them on AliExpress for a premium I just wanted to have one of these for fun to add to my collection of dev boards and uh, if I get a uh, laser engraver I might try to engrave these with like the Volog logo or something like that. My next item was uh, sent in by one of the uh, viewers of the channel. Uh, they created this uh, big uh, modular and RGB uh, seven segment display. Uh, it's called Sizable 7. So you can chain multiple of these together and you can control each individual segment and its color. They come with these uh, JSTXH connectors, three pins uh, for five volts data and ground and there's two of these connectors per each digit so you can daisy chain a bunch of these to make a large display they do have this enclosure made up from a mix of laser cut acrylic uh, plus some uh, 3d printed uh, parts and the pcb on the back unfortunately on the unit that i got these uh, these side panel just uh, fell off du during shipping it could be that it took some shocks during uh, shipping or maybe the adhesive just uh, didn't uh, hold up well enough but I can easily reattach this here is the uh, display being uh, driven by an ESP32 with a separate 5 volt supply for the panel I'm using the example code they provide and you can easily imagine daisy chaining multiple of these to create a larger display to show uh, pretty much anything you'd like uh, being connected to the internet so if you'd like to get one check out the link in the description below next up I got a couple of these uh, soft uh, cloth bags in a rather large size uh, because I want to either use them as they are or maybe modify them into a different shape to protect my Andon Star microscope from dust so this is the Andon Star AD409 that I reviewed in Volog 434 it's a great little microscope for inspection and occasional soldering work I think they should have included by default some form of dust protection because it could be just like a 50 cent expense on their side but since it doesn't come with such a thing I purchased these uh, separately and uh, as you can see this brown bag fits very nicely over the microscope doesn't need any modifications the black bag is just a little bit uh, thicker I don't like it as much for this particular task but it, it could also uh, work they are re reasonably inexpensive around three dollar a piece so uh, well worth getting one if you'd like to protect something uh, of this size from dust but I do recommend getting the brown one which is a little bit thinner and softer next up I got six of the most uh, common radar sensor modules found on AliExpress I believe these are all made by a company called Highlink they all have that uh, part number starting with HLK the first one showed here was actually purchased in a previous uh, no, mail bag and the plan is to actually test these to see if there are any noticeable differences between the models in actual real world usage because they do claim different performance out of these uh, they have different price ranges uh, visually they look different and some of them have different circuitry they have more or less of these uh, antenna elements on them so who knows uh, we have to test them but that's a pretty time-consuming task so I'm not sure when I'll get to doing that video I'll probably need like a full day de dedicated to running those tests but until then I'll leave a link to these in the description below if you would like to check them out next up I got myself two of these LoRa modules these are based on the SX1262 chipset from Sentec and the module part number is RA-01 these are from AI Thinker and they are for the 800 to 900 megahertz band 
and they come with an IPEX connector so that I can connect my own antennas and experiment with different types of antennas. I'm currently working on a project which will include LoRa connectivity, so I might need some quick and dirty way of testing at prototype level. Uh, these ready-made modules would allow me, for example, to connect to an ESP32 and uh, test rapidly using some example code found online, whereas my project includes uh, designing a PCB with all of the radio and antenna stuff and microcontroller, which obviously would will take more uh, time to develop. Next up, I have another development board, and what caught my eye with this one is that it's based on the R32F uh, 103 microcontroller. I'm not sure if, if that's visible on uh, camera, the part number on the MCU. Uh, this is a direct clone of the STM32F103. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it's a direct one-to-one -one clone or if there are some differences. Uh, it's once again something that I wanted to add to my collection and who knows, maybe someday I need to revive some STM32F103 project and if I can't find the chip, uh, I'll have to switch to using something like this clone. And something very interesting on this dev board is the build quality, which is like an order of magnitude over what you uh, normally get from uh, AliExpress. It's got matte black uh, solder mask, any gold plating, uh, superb uh, soldering quality and silk screen printing and on the back it's uh, branded uh, Luat OS and if you go to their website it's just another Artos that claims it's the next generation and does things better and it comes from China and I don't do much programming so I can't comment on that uh, but if you're interested in the development board itself a link to this will be in the description of the video. Next up, I wanted a good looking but yet soft and silicon-like cable for charging my laptop over USB-C or for connecting that external USB-C monitor which I reviewed in Vlog 427. So I ended up ordering this green one from AliExpress. Uh, it, it feels pretty high quality, uh, definitely silicon-like feeling and flexibility, although I'm not sure if it's actually silicon like withstanding high temperatures. Um, it is a bit on the thick side and has these uh, bulky uh, connectors, but this should give you like a very good grip when uh, plugging in uh, this in your into your device. And I got the one meter length here, but they also offer it as a two meter option. It's rated for PD charging up to 120 watts, so this might explain the uh, thickness of the cable. I don't know if it also supports video over USB-C. Probably not. Uh, typically, it's not mentioned typically if it's not mentioned in the product description it does not support it because because that requires additional data pairs to be present in the connector so they save a lot of cost by not including those now the end connectors they do look like metal uh, with the snarling but i believe they are just plastic which is fine for me i don't need this to be metal I would say this is a pretty decent uh, silicone charging cable, but don't expect this to be capable of video as well. Just basic uh, high power charging. Next up, I got this uh, plastic organizer uh, rack, which as you can see from the uh, packaging is uh, probably intended for the artist type jobs where you store some fine brushes, pencils, stuff like that. But I figured this might also be uh, useful for storing various tools from the electronics workbench. It does come disassembled, you have to put it together, that's fairly easy to do. And it does seem to hold even these uh, thick markers, uh, for example, they're a pretty tight fit, but they do fit. It can also hold a uh, screwdriver with uh, no problem. But one disadvantage that I see uh, when compared to the metal holder, which I showed in the previous mailbag video, uh, is that it hides the tip of the screwdriver. So if you're looking at this from the side, you don't actually see the tip of your screwdriver so you either have to remember where each type of screwdriver is placed like on each row um, otherwise you can't easily see what you're picking up from the organizer so i guess uh, the choice is yours to figure out if this is something that could work for you and the last item in today's video is this uh, hard shell storage case which i ordered a long time ago uh, it took a while to arrive and I think the intention is to store my USB soldering iron inside of this because right now uh, this soldering iron just lives in a plastic Ziploc bag whenever I need to take it with me, which is not very professional and doesn't provide any protection for the tool uh, while it's inside that bag or uh, a toolbox. So uh, this hard shell EVA case seems like, seems like it would do the job just nicely to 
keep my soldering iron and its accessories uh, safely uh, and protected inside this case. I think this was about $3.50 shipped, tax included to the uh, EU, so it's a pretty good purchase and of course you could even use this for other purposes as well. That was all for today, I hope it was interesting to watch and let me know in the comments below if you ordered any of these items. Same as always, links for all the products shown in this video will be placed in the description below so do check them out. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget you can support the channel on Patreon with as little as $1 per month to keep these videos coming. I'll be seeing you next week.